All right, so today we're gonna, I'm gonna hopefully teach you how to make a fuselage of an airplane for uh, X-Plane. Um, it's not as hard as it looks, but people tend to make it harder than it actually is. So I'm gonna try to kind of show you the basics, but also get into detail of how it all works. So we're starting with a basic blender scene here. I'm just deleting the lights and stuff. Uh, you can press 3 to go to your side view. Now, uh, a good thing to do is to look up uh, diagrams of the airplane that you're trying to make. Um, in this case, for today's video, I'm going to do the A330. And uh, I'll try to do my best at it. It might not be completely accurate, but it's just to get your head around things. So, yeah, I decided to download this Delta side, Im side view image. And uh, this other kind of high resolution angle of different different angles of the airplane. Um, so yeah, so go to your side view, press 3 on your numpad. Go ahead and press X and delete that cube there in the middle. What we're going to do is hit Shift A and select a cylinder. And this is going to get your basic sort of fuselage shape. But the only issue with this now is that it's facing straight up and straight down. So what you're going to do is hit R on your keypad and, hit, and uh, type in 90 and hit enter. There you go. Now it kind of goes around in a circle like that. And it's on the uh, Y axis now. Go back to 3 on your numpad. What we're going to do is uh, look up our aircraft dimensions first. Wikipedia usually has the best answers for this. Okay, so we're doing the 300 variant. So the length of it is 208 feet and well, almost 209. What we're going to do in Blender is hit N. It's going to bring up this side menu with your dimensions, your scale, your rotations, and location. And what we're going to do is find the axis that we want. So in this case, it's the z-axis of what we're going to scale it on. And we're going to change that value to whatever the length is of the airplane. So in this case, it's 208.89 feet. And that's the length there. Now what we can start doing is implementing our diagrams. So the best way to do it is if you just download it on Chrome, you can just drag them right in. But um, the best way to do this is to get the angle that you want. So in this case, I'm on the side angle, which we're going to use for that Delta A330 image. Just drag it in. Actually, that's not the one I wanted. Um, the other one seems to be a web image, so I'm going to have to screenshot it. <laughs> Anyway, we can just drag this one up for now. Scale it up with S and then just move your cursor. And another thing I like to do is press Z and go into wide frame mode because then it kind of uh, blurs out your cylinder so you can see what you're doing behind it. Looks pretty good to me. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do from here is, um, what's the easiest way to do this? Okay, the easiest way to do this is to kind of upscale and then we'll make the length what it should be again. We'll just scale it up and S and drag your cursor. Now the A330 sets on a weird angle, so what I'm going to do there is just angle the image slightly.
And then, so a thing you can do with any object or any image in Blender is you can press G, which kind of just moves it around. And when you hit G, you can press like Z, X, or Y, for example. Um, I'll do it here. So if I press G and Y, it moves along the Y axis. So if I do G and Z, it moves along the Z axis. And if you do uh, G and X, which you won't be able to see from this angle, it'll move it along the X axis. So that's very helpful when you want to get stuff accurate. Um, so yeah, we'll continue with the fuselage now. That's about the right height. Uh, Wikipedia won't give us an exact height of the fuselage, which is fine. Um, so then from here, what we're going to do is go back and hit N. And then N brings up the dimensions thing. We can go ahead and enter that value in again, now that we scaled it properly with the height. And that's starting to look like an A330. So now it's actually not quite accurate. So I'm going to go G and Y. Move it up so that it meets both ends of the airplane. Now this is where it gets kind of confusing, but I'm going to walk you through it. So this uh, image we just put in, we're going to want to use it again. So we're going to click on it and press uh, Control C and Control V. I have two of them, and I'll just move it along the x-axis with G and X. Then what I'm going to do is set the rotation back, because I did angle it slightly to get that fuselage. Now you might not have to do this, depending on what your diagram looks like. And then seven for a top-down view. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, it's kind of crackling. Um, and then you're just going to rotate it 90 degrees. There. Now go back to your uh, front facing view, which is one. Kind of put it where you want. That looks good to me. And actually, the A330 is very, very circular. So I guess we won't really have to be doing any uh, adjusting to the airframe. This might be a bad uh, aircraft to pick for this tutorial, but um, what you would do here is line it up with your cylinder that you made for your fuselage. Uh, hit tab to go into edit mode. And then if you ha kind of have a weird shape to your fuselage, like a more oval shape, what I like to do is, um, Press B, which, what, what, bleh, which was what I just did there. Press B and just drag it along the two vertices, and then you can hit S and scale it. So, like, say your fuselage is more of a round shape, you would just do that for each ver uh, symmetrical vertice. And then you get something kind of like this, which is not what we want today, but uh, kind of close. Yeah, I'm going to go back to what I had before. And then um, that actually lines up very well. So then the next thing you can do is start to make loop cuts. So press 3 to go back into your side view. And what we're going to do here is start to... Um, make loop cuts, which base, basically just makes a circular mesh in all different spots along here, and then you can scale it. Back into wide frame we go. I'm going to put one kind of by the nose where it starts to dip. Put there. And just make a bunch. Uh, by the windows, you might want to do it maybe more accordingly to where the window frames are. Sort of like that. And then just make a bunch where the nose kind of dips fully. 
Now what you're going to do again is press B and select the tip of the nose. And from here you can scale it down all the way. And then G and press Z again so you can scale it along the Z axis up and down. It needs to go and then just do this for all of your uh, mesh it gets kind of tricky when you're doing a uh, very close um, that's a mesh and skip forward if you want a little bit. I've never done a tutorial like this before, so I might be stuttering my words a little. I just get lots of people asking me how you make your modeling so good, and this is um, this is how I do it. Just trial and error. I might want to add uh, more loop cuts in here as you go depending on the roundness of your nose. And tweak it every now and then. Wrong. That looks pretty good to me. Moving on to the tail section. The same thing, you just make a bunch of loop cuts where you feel you need them. Fill them down. I place them strategically, so this is where the tail ends. So that's a good place to put one. Where the uh, aileron kind of meets, or not the aileron, the uh, horizontal stabilizer meets a fuselage. And maybe where the tail ends. Now this is all going to be changed when we go to the top down view. Because um, it'll just look weird in the top down view. And you'll have to kind of adjust things um, based on the scales or the axis.
maybe one more here and one more there. All right, that looks somewhat okay to me, but that's just the basics on how you get the uh, side view of the fuselage done because you can line it up with your diagrams. All right, so that's our fuselage so far. Now, it looks very bumpy. So in Blender, you can smooth it out by selecting your object. Going into this object data properties. Um, where is it? Like normals and auto smooth. And then from there, you're going to hit object on the top left and shade smooth. That smooths it all out. Um, notice the scale on the right is not a one to one ratio. So, what you're going to want to do is select your object, hit, uh, what is it now? Control A and scale. get that out of the way um yeah okay now if we go to the top down view you're going to notice that it looks very wrong up by the nose actually it's not too bad in this case since it's a perfect circle uh, we need that background image again so we're going to duplicate it Drag it under. Now uh, it is rotated a little, which is odd. A lot of these diagrams are very wrong, but it's okay because you can kind of just figure them out yourself. This is all just lining it up till it looks good to your eyes. All right, I think that's good enough. So what we're gonna start doing now is changing the shape of these loop cuts from the top down view. So this one's fine because that's the main part of the fuselage. So we're gonna grab this guy with B and selecting it. Now it's right from the side angle. So we don't wanna hit S and scale it down. We wanna hit S and X to scale it along the X axis. And just kind of line it up because it stays normal here when you hit s and x because it's only scaling it it's like squishing it basically towards um the center of the aircraft you can see it here it's remaining the same vertical but it's shrinking horizontally And just line up all your mesh here with S and X. And just check it every now and then to make sure it looks good. All right, I'm pretty happy with that.
I tend to work with all this stuff on the bottom. All right, so that's looking good to me. Um, from there, you know, if it looks a little blocky in some places, you can add more mesh and just kind of scale it. Round that nose off. Now time for the tail. Always go into wide frame mode when you're doing this. Now the diagram is a little off on the right compared to the left, so I'm just kind of doing it myself. Now remember, it's always S and X for this. Don't want to mess, mess up what you did on the side view. All right, so that looks good to me. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is add the cockpit window, which tends to be the hardest part of the whole thing. What we're gonna do is uh, make a circle. Shift A and circle. Gonna bring that point to where the front windows meet. Now it's gonna be off scaled, so I'm gonna or not off scaled, it's gonna be off center. So we're gonna go and set the x value to zero. Now it's centered. Now kind of find the vertice in your circle where it ends off. So in this case, I'm gonna choose this guy. Everything before it, delete. Then from here you can grab the uh, vertices and just kind of um, scale them along the x-axis like we did for everything else. Now most of these windows on uh, airplanes are very linear when it comes to the side windows. Keep that in mind. Oh, looks pretty good for the top uh, piece of the window. And then go to the side view and we can drag it down to where it should be on this angle. Now it might not meet your uh, fuselage exactly, but we, we can deal with that later. 
And then uh, for the second part of it, you can just duplicate it and bring it down. Now I'm just using S and X again. All right, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> what we can do from here is just join these back ones together by selecting them and hitting F. Same on this side. So as you can see, our cockpit windows are kind of coming along inside of the fuselage. And from the front view, it looks pretty good as well. And what you can do is go on Google and just look at your own images to kind of match it up a little better than the diagram shows. Um, yeah, so in this case, uh, on the A330, the side windows kind of bend down a little bit. So we'll select them where they start to go down. Um, and actually, no, you know what? I'm going to do it for the front part. Okay, so we're going to bring this up a tad. Right there to where it meets the start of the... This is just kind of getting the shape in. Um, and this back window actually has an angle to it as well. So what we can do there is make another loop cut and it's not gonna actually make a bunch of vertices. It'll make one right in the middle of this line. So how we do that is we um, kind of go out a bit, control R and it'll just make a one vertice right there and we'll do it on the other side as well. And then we can just delete this top one. And then join these two. And then it, since it's not completely accurate, we can grab these two here that we just made and we can kind of drag them up a bit. Like that. I'm 
Okay, so that's our windows, or well, at least what I'm gonna go with for today. And um, from there, what we're gonna do is grab our fuselage again. And what we're gonna actually do is start deleting some faces around the windows. So go down here into face select mode. And then what we're gonna do is press C and then just kind of grab the ones you grab the ones that interfere with the windows even if they overlap them all right i'm happy with that so we're going to press x and set, uh, select delete faces Now it's going to look ugly at first, but we're just going to match up each vertice with the rest of the uh, ones you made here. So from there, we're going to select our cockpit window and then shift and select our fuselage and press control J. Now we have one object where we can start joining these vertices. So I'm going to start with the nose here. I do it by pressing C and just selecting the vertice. Now in some spots you may have to make uh, separate vertices by making loop cuts. Actually, I'll leave that one for now. But yeah, as you can see, it's starting to come along a little bit. It may look a little weird from certain angles, but we can adjust that later. It's just matching up the vertices with the rest of the fuselage. I'm actually going to fix it right now. Maybe these guys will come back a bit. It's just kind of placing them to where it all looks smooth and like proportionate. I may have to make some triangles somewhere, which is fine. Make sure that either side of the airplane is uh, the same. It's all symmetrical. And you can do this using a mirror modifier, but I always do it this way. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of coming along. And we just kind of play with all these until we get it to where we want it. Now, this is going to be a triangle.
Now notice it looks a little funky. We can change that by just dragging these ones out. And then kind of reshaping our fuselage a little bit. But yeah, it's all starting to come along. A fairly quick process once you get the hang of it. And maybe we'll add another loop cut in the fuselage part here. Make up for these vertices. Basically, you're just going to do this for the entire airplane in the cockpit window, joining up all these vertices along here, maybe making a couple extra loop cuts every now and then if you have to, like I will have to here. That way I can make some good shapes. And just kind of dragging them out. And just make sure you look at it from every single angle because you might find some points. Like there, for example. Yeah, that's basically it. And just keep repeating that process until you get the entire cockpit window looking good. Get, uh, multiple reference images until you get it. Um, that's the easiest way how to make a fuselage for X-Plane, or just in general for Blender. Um, I'll be back with like a wing tutorial or something like that. Um, yeah, that's about it.